What's up guys? Um, this is a video of showing you guys how um, how many corals I have in this tank when I'm about to do the tank move. So um, this right here is a neon green canyon tree. Um, back there is a yellow some kind of uh, canyon tree mixed with something else. I like those two. Those are only two soft corals I have in this tank which is are pretty rare. Um, so this right here is a mini colony of a uh, frog spawn with purple tip. Um, that right there is a mini colony of uh, purple, I mean I'm sorry, um, just hammer, your regular hammer. Um, that's another uh, colony of hammer. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys how many corals I have and how how am I going to move all of this into my new tank. Um, remember the space in the tank is a lot smaller than this one so I'm gonna have to really work on how to um, how to get this all of this stuff to work together. So if you guys can help me, it would be great. Okay, um, this is a uh, mini colony of uh, I have no idea what that is. I'm not really good with SBS name. Um, that's a blue gi digitas, supposed to be blue. Um, that's a green's bird's nest. Um, just mini colony of SBS. I don't do much SBS, so you guys can tell. But um, yeah, um, you can see the size reference. These are about five six inches. Um, in, in depth. Um, here, over here we have a uh, red brain. Uh, another there is another ultra uh, rainbow brain. Um, so these brains gonna have to be in the bottom of the tank. Um, that's a mini colony of uh, Kenny Kane. It's not that much so that I can just stick that anywhere. Um, that's another uh, frog spawn neon green tips. This is a, a tri-color um, uh, frog spawn right here. I really like this dude. And this humongous thing right here is like taking off almost 10 inches of space. It's a wall, um, wall frog spawn. This thing is huge, guys. Um, I have to figure out where to place him. Um, obviously, you can see these two can get along really well. Um, there, there's a yellow sponge coral. Um, here's another uh, small colony of frog spawn, purple tip. Um, that right there is a really big. Uh, Fox coral, it's about six inches in diameter. Um, that right there is an the orange uh, sponge coral. Here's another uh, red brain coral, and it's another rainbow red brain coral. coral. So you guys know I love brains. So this is your uh, green brain. Look at the size of this guy. This guy is almost about eight, eight or nine to ten inches in diameter. So this guy is taking up a lot of real estate. There's another uh, red with green uh, brain coral. As we move up here, it's a mini colony of uh, orange candy cane um, with uh, another really ultra red brain with purple inside. That one's really nice. That's one of my favorite pieces. On top of him is a blasto colony. Those are pretty rare, so I really like those too. Um, down to him, we have another uh, frog spawn colony, um, purple tip. You guys know I like a lot of uh, frog spawn and, and a hammer. Uh, move on. This is a torch coral. Um, it's really big. I know these have really big uh, sweeper tentacles, so I have to really find out where to put this guy in the tank. So, and this one here is a neon green uh, bubble coral. Guy's really, really, really nice. I like him, so we're gonna keep that guy. Um, here's another uh, wall hammer. Um, yeah, this is a wall hammer. This guy has really long sweeper tentacles. I'm gonna show you guys. As you can see in the very far right, right there, that's one of his sweeper tentacles right there, and it sticks out really long. This is a purple Monte Cab. It's actually encrusted to that rock right there, so I'm gonna have to figure something out when I do the move. But I want to keep him. Um, this one here is just a little couple of three or four uh, mushrooms, blue mushroom, nothing special. Um, this is an unknown SBS, but it's growing like crazy, so I want to keep this dude. Um, that is just a, uh, what is that, a uh, purple slimer? Something like that. It doesn't look purple in my tank. Weird. But yeah, um, that's that's what happens when you run LED sometimes. Colors doesn't come out. So right here is my really nice, two nice neon green Tyreed's Toastu. The one on the left is, is a little bit brighter than the one on the right. Um, I like to keep both of these in my tank. So um, right there is uh, uh, Ricordia's, and that's a Superman. That huge yellow thing down there is a Superman. Uh, I want to keep him for sure. That's a Superman mushroom. Um, we have a mini three heads, four heads, it's gonna be five heads soon, uh, kryptonite, Kenny Kane. Um, that is your um, uh, mini colony of uh, mushroom. They're spreading like weeds right there. 
you see that one in the top? That's a new head right there. It's popping up. Uh, move on up over here is more frog spawn. This is a purple tip. There's a little bit more uh, purple tip frog spawn than this one. This one almost a yellow, yellowish purple tip. So this is a little mini colony right here. So I have to find a way to fit all of these together, guys, in a new tank. This is your uh, Monty cab. This one is this thing is really really big. This is the most real estate piece right here, and I do. This one has to be in my new tank. There's no doubt about that. Um, it also comes with a uh, this encrusted on it. This is a blue. Uh, what do you call this? I have no idea what it's called. It's a blue. It's a type of. Uh, um, I don't know. It's a blue something. Blue blueberry or something like that. Yeah, you can't really see the color in my camera. But that goes in there. There's a mini colony of candy cane right here too. Oh, you don't want to look at this. This has a whole bunch of pests on it. But I'm gonna break it all off doing a move. So here's a tricolor uh, frog spawn, um, another neon hammer, um, uh, that's another slimer. I'm trying to, I'm probably get rid of that uh, that green bubble tip and enemy right there. He's he's just hanging around there, so I'm gonna get rid of him. Um, over here we have my uh, green Monty and my orange Monty. I do want to keep the green. I might set an orange. Who knows? But this is another problem right here we have, guys. This uh, this back here is a really really humongous colony of frog swine. The real estate this guy take is as much almost as much as the Monty Cap. But I really want to keep this guy. This guy has is, is, is been here with the tank forever, and I want to keep him. So you guys kind of have an idea of what kind of corals is in here. And if you guys can, just, oh, there's a couple more SBS down here like that one, and just little stuff here and there. But the main one is the the frog swine and the hammers and the Montes. So if you guys know what's the best way to place these corals, just let me know. Um, I'm, the tank is actually three by t two, but it's really tall. It's about two feet tall. It's 75 gallons, so I mean, I, I don't want to stack too much rock, but if I have to to get all my corals to fit in there, it's gonna have to work. But so anyways, um, uh, feel free to comment, um, reply. I'm gonna try to take a picture of each individual um, coral so that I can just maybe copy and paste it and just do a little imaging Photoshop work to see how I can place all of this in a five, 75 gallon uh, uh, tank, you know. But um, yeah, that's the only that's the only problem we have right now is, is deal with all these these new. I, I shouldn't buy any new corals since stuff is getting run, but I do like these brains. I can't you can't turn down brain guys. Look at that. That's a beautiful color right there. It's gonna color up really nice. But anyways, um, uh, let me know what you guys think. There's still a little, little smock frags of uh, SBS right here too. And yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to really lose any corals doing a move or you know sacrifice any corals because of the move. I want them all to be in a tank. So, um, all right, guys, welcome to subscribers.